Hi guys and welcome back. I am outside again in a street in my neighborhood and uh, feeling awkward again. All these people are out with their dogs at this hour. It's like five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I just wanted to say first of all thank you for coming back. In my last vlog had a lot of views so I was really excited about that and this has been a really great week. Nothing really happened but I've been just relaxing and, you know, enjoying life here in LA and getting some energy for next week where I am going to Miami to interview The Rock again and Zac Efron for their new movie, Baywatch. There's a bad shit going on over there and my balls say we need to check it out. My balls say... It's just take it easy right here. Why do your balls sound like three-year-old girls? I don't know, man. Hopefully, if I have time, I'll make a vlog from Miami so you can see a little bit about what it's like. I think they're going to have like a big uh, premiere party there as well. So maybe I can film a little bit inside of the premiere party. We'll see. Anyways, um, I just wanted to say that I haven't been doing any junkets this week, but um, I've been looking through some of my older materials and I wanted to share some stuff with you guys. Uh, I'm so unfocused when I'm on the street because I'm so embarrassed when people look at me. I don't know what it is. I found three of my favorite kind of honest moments that I had with celebrities when they told me something that surprised me a little bit. Here's my first one. This is my interview with Emma Stone that I, I think I did it in 2013. I couldn't even find the original interview, but I found this one on my own channel. So I had to copy it and put it in here. This is where Emma Stone admits to me that she loves reading gossip magazines. So this movie is also about protecting your family and the people you love. Do you feel that especially in, in your, you know, living in the public eye, that's, that's harder? If you're in the public eye in any way, shape or form, your personal life is sort of just sport, you know, and um, I, I, I don't wag my finger at it or make a value judgment on it. I just do what I can to protect that, you know, it's up to me to protect that, not up to, you know, the media in any way or anything like that. So I think privacy is pretty important. Yeah, but that yeah. said, I love reading that crap. Yeah. I really love reading it. Well, it's like crack, right? Like yeah, it's like crack. It. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty great. Yeah. So I, I, I get it yeah. at the same time, weirdly. Yeah. yeah. I really do understand. It's funny because that interview with Emma Stone was from 2013. I don't know if she would actually admit to that today maybe i'll ask her next time i meet her if gossip magazines is still her crack okay so my next honest moment i have to say was probably with Zach Galifianakis when he told me that he thinks the whole industry of hollywood is bullshit just look at this how these ideas i these think screens. the faith that people put in hollywood and all that i think it's all bullshit i think it's just gross i mean hollywood's a weird town anyway it brags about itself constantly it's all it does is talk about how much money it makes. And it's it's a weird, it's a, it's, I don't know, I don't agree with it. It's just a, the morale, morals of Hollywood to me are, I don't get it. Isn't it refreshing when people are honest with you? I feel in my job, it's very rare that people actually dare to be honest because they they have all this pressure that all the people are gonna please, so they're sometimes afraid to actually tell the truth and to say what they actually mean. But sometimes they do, and that makes me very happy. This tree is so cool. Look at this tree. Oh my God, this area is so nice. Look at that tree. I love how people take care of their gardens so much in West Hollywood. Everything is just like so nice. Oh, another honest experience I had was with one of my favorite people, uh, Tom Hiddleston. The first time I met him, um, I didn't know that much about him. And then I just started talking about love because I thought, oh, why don't we just have a conversation about love? And then the things that he told me of his feelings around love was just so surprising and very honest. Changed? Was it much easier before? Oh, I think falling in love is the same as it's always been. I think it's as, it's, it's as uh, surprising and shocking and um, chaotic and beautiful as it's always been. I think you can't, you know, you can't, uh, the heart is, is uncontrollable. You can't legislate for who you fall in love with. You just, it happens. Um, uh, so I... 
So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll make more of those videos if you like them. I was thinking it's, you know, sometimes it's fun to go back and look at older stuff that you've done and see, you know, and find stuff that was really awkward and or funny or whatever. So let me know if you want more of that. I will keep digging in my archive if you liked it. So I just have to say again, you guys, thank you so much for being here and watching my interviews and especially coming back to look at this vlog. I really enjoy doing this because it kind of puts me on my toes a little bit because I feel this is kind of uncomfortable for me. So it's always good to do things that you feel uncomfortable with doing. And especially walking around like this outside makes me feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> so. I really need to kick myself in the butt to do this. So thank you for making me do it. Anyways, um, so next week I'll be in Miami and then after that I'll do Wonder Woman as well. So I'm really super excited to watch that movie to see what they came up with. I learned this the hard way a long, long time ago. Last time someone asked me if uh, it was a very different world coming from the showbiz world in Norway and to the one here in Los Angeles. And I have to say that I wasn't really a part of like a showbiz world in Norway in that way. I was working for a magazine, a women's magazine, when I was back there. and. It wasn't glamorous, but we made it kind of glamorous. I had, I was working with some really cool girls there and I missed them all the time. And I remember we were sitting, trying out new lip glosses and lipsticks every day in the office. It was amazing. I was the editor of Beauty when I was working there. So I got to test a lot of really cool stuff. But that's a long time ago now. And um, I'm walking back home again now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's number nine, I think. Is it really number nine? That's crazy. Somebody's moving. Uh, I think it's. I think it's number nine. That's crazy. I mean, I was really decided to commit to doing this, and I have. So now I feel a little proud that I did actually, even though it's really difficult to get out of your pajamas and put makeup on and actually go outside and walk around and feel like an idiot in the street. But. <laughs> I'm grateful afterwards because then I'm like I did it so okay guys that's it for this vlog but uh, I don't know why I'm singing every time I say vlog but vlog that's it for this vlog and thank you so much for coming back and don't forget to send me messages or comments or just give me feedback if you if there's anything you want me to talk about I'll be happy to do it and um, See you next time and thank you again for coming and watching this vlog and thanks for subscribing or please do if you haven't and um, see you in Miami. Bye!